Let's get started. What should we do to set up Extract? What I'll do is I'm going to Sencha.com and in the upper right hand corner I'm going to Docs. From there I'm going to Extract Documentation. Getting started guide, right? Right. That will explain us step by step what should we do to set up Extract. So if you look down here, there's a step one and two. So step one says start a free trial. So I'll click through on that. And you need to fill a form with your data. Uh, name, last name, uh, phone number, company, uh, your country and state. And one important point is operating system. Now when I was on that landing page for Sencha.com, there is actually a free trial link there, so you could have clicked through and gotten to this page immediately, but I like to go to that Getting Started page because it has the full step-by-step -step instructions for setting up Xtreact. Yeah, it's more useful. And we need to agree to terms and conditions. And what will happen after that? Okay, after this, after a few minutes, you get an email from Sencha. And you have already received this email? Yeah, I think so. Let's take a look. And what will be inside of this email? So inside of here, you can see there's a username and password. Okay, and we could use them too? Well, the username, let me scroll down here a little bit. You see there's an NPM login. So what we need to do is log in to the Sencha XReact private NPM repository and we use the username for that. Okay, so you just copied a comment from getting started guide and paste it into terminal. Right. And now you will enter username and password that you received in your email. And I have noticed that uh, username is the same as email address that you enter it in a form, but instead of add sign there is two dots. Right, so you see there it says raider.gmail.com. Okay. And how will you know that you have successfully logged in? Yeah, so that's a little tricky. You don't see the password and you're not actually told if something goes wrong. So what I do is I run a cat statement. So basically I say, um, so it's kind of a trick I do. So I say cat, you know, root directory, then dot npmrc and this will show me a token if I logged in correctly. So if you look down there, there's like an underscore auth token with some data that shows that I logged in. Okay, good. So we have set up everything and we could continue. That's right. So what we need to do next is get the starter app and then we'll start coding our Spotify app. Let's do it.